Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. Today we'll discuss with you about my scientific presentation on the topic blood vessels and lymph. The blood vessels present in our body are arteries, veins, and capillaries. Arteries are the vessels that help thick and elastic walls to resist the pressure exerted by the heart. They carry the oxygenated blood from the heart to various parts of the body. Veins, they collect the deoxygenated blood from various parts of the body and brings it to the heart. They do not have thick walls because the blood is not under pressure, but they have valves to control the flow of blood in one direction. The arteries branch into thin vessels called capillaries to reach the cells for the supply materials. These capillaries rejoin at the other end to form veins. If the blood vessels are cut at any point by accident, then there will be a leakage and loss of blood from the body. To prevent this, platelets present in the body migrate to site of leakage and plug it temporarily. Later, a series of events takes place and permanent clotting of blood takes place. Apart from blood, there is one more fluid involved in transportation, that is lymph. It is a colorless fluid similar to plasma of body. It is formed by the plasma escaped from capillaries into the intercellular spaces. This fluid is called lymph and it enters into lymphatic capillaries and joins with lymph vessels and finally opens into large veins. It does a major job. Lymph carries digested and absorbed fat from intestine and to drain excess fluid from extracellular space back into the blood. See, Alhamdulillah, how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala have created us. 97,000 kilometer long blood vessels never get tangled. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the glorious Quran in Surah Qaf chapter number 50 verse number 16 وَنَحْنُ أَقْرَبُ إِلَيْهِ مِنْ حَبْلِ الْوَرِيدِ And we are closer to him than his jugular vein. And I invite everyone to worship only God Allah and obey fine messenger Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu.